Hello and welcome back guys. Today I am going to discuss the question which was asked during the Bitwise interview. So the question was a little descriptive one. So I am not going to tell you story. I will directly jump into the question. What was the question? In simple words, the question was to find the sum of diagonals of the 2D matrix. So let's see how we are going to find this. So this is our 2D matrix. In the first instant, when you look this, you find that the complexity will be n square. But you are wrong. Today we are going to solve this in the complexity of n. So we are going to access it row by row. And the first element, the index of first row and first column will be 0, 0. And first row, second column will be 0, 1. Like this, we are going to number all this element. This is only for the understand so that you can understand it. Okay, now what will the index of this? One thing you will notice that to the, get the sum of the first diagonals, which is this first diagonal, the index are same like 0, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. Okay, is that clear? And the index of the second is decreasing in order. Here, value of i is increasing, like here i is 0, and next index is 3. Here, what will be? It will be 0. I will be 1 here and the next index will be n next index will be n minus i minus 1 so in that case here we are here n equals to 4 so 4 minus i is 1 minus 1 which is equals to 2 so here index will be 1 comma 2 and here it will be 2 1 and it will be 3 0 so we are going to see how to solve this so talking about this the first diagonal which is this it's very simple. We are going to look only for similar values. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to make a loop start from i equal to 0 and it will go up to i less than n. And every time what we are going to do every value of i, i equals to 1 and in a variable x, we are going to add the element of array one by one. So first i equals to 0, which is 0, 0, 0, 0 which will give the value 1. So we are going to add 1 into x. The second i when i equals to 1, then value of a of i, a of i will be 1, 1, which is this index. We are going to get the value 2. So we are going to add this value here 2. So like this, for every iteration, we are going to get every different values and we are going to add this. And at last, we will get our final result, which is 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we are going to get value 10 at the same time what we are going to do is to calculate the second value second diagonal value which is this one so how we are going to do this we are going to use this formula so since we got the first value when i equal to 0 so what will the value here 4 minus 0 minus 1 which is equals to 3 so we will get this element so we're going to add this variable this value into another variable which is y and value will be 1 so then for the next iteration when i equals to 1 here when i equals to 1 which is 4 minus 1 minus 1 it equals to 2 so we are going to add this number 1 comma 2 which is 1 again now when we again move then i value of i will become 2 and it will give this index which is 1 comma 2 2 comma 1 and at last we will get 3 comma 0 index so this will add up the value total 3 so at last we're going to combine the value of y and value of x together to print the final sum which is equals to 13. So this is the method how we are going to do this. So let's look at the program. So this is a class and for you I have made an index. This time it's a 4 into 4 index and I have randomly put the number here. We have taken int equals to 4. This is the number of rows we want. And this is a first and second. This I have taken the variable 0 and first for the first diagonal, second for the second diagonal and this is for continuation this is this is the only for loop which is required and this is the main logic here we have written so let's see what is the logic for the first we are adding the value a i of a i and i so what does what does it mean the value which is here the index which are same value gonna add one two three four so this will gonna add here and meanwhile the value of a second will be the value of second will be a of zip for first condition when i equals 0 0 n which is 4 minus 0 minus 1 which is 0 comma 3 so we will got this second value so this will add up and 
this is the third, third variable which is t which is the total variable this is not required you can directly use to print here but i have taken it for simplicity and next what we are going to do is here you are, uh, you are printing the first diagonal you are printing the second diagonal and the total value of t so this is what this was a very simple program let's run this program so you can see that the value of first diagonal which is this diagonal we have got the element we got the total number 225 and value of the second diagonal which is this we have got 194 and total we have added the sum and we got this result so this was the question it's very simple you can do it in uh, n square complexity also but by this formula you can achieve this same thing in n, n complexity so it's good for complexity and this was asked in the bitwise they wanted to uh, know whether you can do this program in n complexity also that's all